Question 6, Part B. The gradient function of a curve is given by f dash of x equals 3 times x plus 1 in brackets times x minus 3 in brackets. And the curve y equals f of x passes through the point 0, 12. Part 1. Find the equation of the curve y equals f of x. The first step is to expand x plus 1 times x minus 3, leaving the multiplying constant 3 on the outside. So we get f dash of x is equal to 3 times x squared minus 2x minus 3, where x squared minus 2x minus 3 is in brackets. Now there's a reason why the multiplying constant 3 is left on the outside. Now the question is asking for the equation of f of x, which is the primitive of f dash of x. So in order to obtain f of x, we need to integrate this expression here. Now because we have a multiplying constant on the outside, that can be placed outside the integral. So f of x is equal to 3 times the integral of x squared minus 2x minus 3 dx. Performing the integration, we get f of x is equal to 3 times x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared over 2 minus 3x in brackets plus the constant of integration c. Multiplying through the 3 to all the terms on the inside of the bracket, we get f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus the constant of integration c. The final step is to determine the value of the constant of integration. Now we know that the curve y equals f of x passes through the point 0, 12. In other words, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 12. So substituting x equals 0 into f of x, so into this equation here, we get 12 is equal to 0 cubed minus 3 times 0 squared minus 9 times 0 plus c. Therefore, we get c is equal to 12. Putting that all together, therefore, the equation is f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 12. Part 2. Sketch the curve y equals f of x, clearly labelling turning points and the y-intercept. From part 1, the equation of f of x is f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 12. Now this equation is a polynomial. The leading term of this polynomial is a positive cubic because its highest power or the degree is 3. And it's a positive cubic because the leading coefficient or the number that multiplies x cubed is 1, which is a positive. And the graph of y equals f of x may resemble something like this. As x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity. In other words, as x gets larger, y gets larger. So that's this part of the graph here. And as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. In other words, the smaller the value of x, the smaller the value of y, which is this part of the graph here. Now it's given that f dash of x is equal to 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 3. Hence, turning points exist at x equals negative 1 and x equals 3. So there's no point differentiating f of x since it's already given in the question. The next thing we need are the y coordinates that correspond to x equals negative 1 and x equals 3. And we get that by substituting x equals negative 1 and x equals 3 into this equation here. So by substitution, f of negative 1 is equal to 17 and f of 3 is equal to negative 15. To sketch the graph y equals f of x, where f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 12, I started by drawing the coordinate axes using a ruler, labelling the origin, the x-axis and the y-axis. Then I marked in the two turning points that we found previously, so a local maxima at negative 1, 17 and a local minima at 3, negative 15. The y-intercept is indicated here at y equals 12. 
and the shape of y equals f of x takes on that characteristic cubic curve. So as x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Part 3. For what values of x is the curve concave up? The curve y equals f of x is concave up for values of x where the second derivative, or f double dash of x, is greater than zero. So to find the second derivative, or f double dash of x, we can differentiate the expanded version of the gradient function that we found in part one. So in other words, f double dash of x is equal to d dx of three outside of x squared minus two x minus three. Now this three here is a constant multiplier and that can be taken outside of the derivative. So f double dash of x is equal to 3 times the derivative of x squared minus 2x minus 3, which equals 3 times 2x minus 2. So we want to solve the inequality 3 times 2x minus 2 in brackets is greater than 0. Dividing both sides of the inequality by 3, we get 2x minus 2 is greater than 0. Adding 2 to both sides of the inequality, we get 2x is greater than 2 and then dividing both sides by 2 to make x the subject, we get x is greater than 1. Therefore, the curve y equals f of x is concave up for x greater than 1. 